This video is going to show you how to work with a assignment within the Google Classroom and in this case in particular a writing assignment. So what you're seeing here is my class called MDSG Meeting. I am a teacher in this course and if I scroll down I can see that I have given a writing assignment called Term 1 Writing Summer Hobby with some additional uh, instructions underneath and also a comment down here. I can edit this assignment in any way by clicking the little dots here and clicking edit. And then I can add or I can maybe extend the due date. Maybe we need a little bit more time. I can add to any of these, this here. And then I click save. Um, so I extended the due date to October 8th. If I wanted to, I can just, I'll go ahead and delete the assignment. So this little comment field down here, remember, is attached to this assignment and gets posted for the entire class to see and students can respond back and forth as well. So um, if I want to check in on this assignment one, I can see very quickly who has not turned it in um, by saying this, not done, and who is finished, done. But I'll go ahead and click on um, the assignment and I can see here, right, that these students, and you can kind of close them all if you want, I can see when I open them that those students have no paper. But down here, Ryan Demo, when I click that, I see that he's got a writing assignment started. So I'm going to go ahead and open that student's writing assignment to check in and see what they're doing. So I can see, oh, OK, um, he's got a paragraph and a sentence. Uh, and I can also see up here that he is currently in the document. OK, so I know that that student by this a little icon up here is currently working with the document. So um, one of the things uh, you may notice is that, oh, there's a student. He noticed that I popped in on his document as well. And he said, hey, Mr. Kamari, I can respond back. Um, All right, and I can have a little conversation here through the chat window and he's going back, back and forth, okay? So this chat window is like the working chat. When two or more people are within a document, you can have a conversation about their writing right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and close that right now. So while I'm reading the paper, I can possibly leave feedback. So I can see this sentence right here. Um, this looks like a good closing sentence. So maybe I wanna tell that to him. This looks like a good closing sentence. All right. And I attach that comment to his paper. So the student will see this being highlighted when they click on it. They'll see um, my comment pop up on their side as well. So maybe uh, I want to say, you know, where are the other three paragraphs, right? Because we're talking about a five paragraph essay. I can right click right here, leave a comment, you know, at the end of this sentence, you will need three more paragraphs, right, and comment. All right. So the student may see those comments and respond. Oh, and I can see he just responded to that comment. I know, just started working. So I know he got the message. I can click on this and I can resolve that. Okay, we know. So while, as a teacher, while you're looking at the paper, you never know um, if that student's gonna continue working, all right? And you can see, oh, that student is typing. Like, I'm not typing now. That student, Ryan Demo, is, is typing. So you can catch a student in the act, have a chat with them. You can leave feedback. The student can uh, provide feedback, uh, add comments back to your comments. You can resolve those comments. But let's just say, all right, the student had five paragraphs. I'm done. I, I like what, what they've seen. I'm done looking at it. I can close this. And I can go back here, and I can see... Um, he's still not done, so maybe he's not ready for it to be graded. But on the student's end, when they turn it in, and I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, turn that assignment in from that demo student, 
Um, and you're going to see here this change from not done to done. And I'll, I'll just go back to the main main screen here. And if I scroll down to that writing assignment, all right, I go down. I can see that just changed because the demo student turned it in. So oh, one student's done. I can click on here. I can see that Ryan's done. You know, I would go ahead and go into their paper. Once I'm ready to give it a grade, I can just pop in a grade right here. Click 88, can I give them a grade? And what happens here is when that student turns in the paper, they can no longer edit, edit it until I return it. So it's locked for editing. So they turned it in, I can read it, give it a grade. Up here, I click return with that student highlighted. All right, when you turn the assignment, they'll be able to edit it and you'll be able to comment again. So I can give some feedback, good paper, whatever you want to say. Maybe it's a draft, you could say good draft. Return that assignment. Now that student's grade is locked in. So the student on their end will see their grade for the paper. The comment will be there as, as well. Um, and another thing I want to say, so we have here, up here, points 100, 88 out of 100. Teachers, maybe this assignment was worth 500 points. We can change it just by typing it in, clicking outside of this box, click update, and now it's out of 500. Now this grade's not so good. So I'm just gonna bump it back to 100, update, and we're all set. So you can see how you can access student writing by going within the assignment, grabbing their paper. You can see when they're done by not done, changing to done on this page as well as here, um, leave comments, and it's just very easy to work within the interface of Google Classroom and the writing assignments.